Alright guys, Black Horse here and welcome to another episode um, of our Tour de France with the Lotto Yambo, another stage, uh, should I say, between Brest and Mur de Bretagne, uh, sixth stage of the Tour. Um, I want to apologize again for uh, yesterday's stage, the, like, there was nothing I could have done, really, there was nothing I could have done, and um, so, yeah, really sorry about this uh, in real life, it's Pete Sagan who won, so very different stage to what happened uh, in my race but uh, hopefully this stage won't um, have like recording issues if it does then I don't know what I'll do maybe I'll restart the whole Tour de France change some of the settings I don't know but without further ado uh, let's head on to the start uh, the starting line of the sixth stage of the Tour de France we are on the starting line of the sixth stage of the Tour de France as you can see on the left um, we have one rider le um, gone, and that would be uh, sadly Dylan Honewegen, who uh, well just fell in yesterday's stage and um, had to uh, withdrew from the tour. It's a massive shame, but um, well, we'll get on uh, without him. So let's just see uh, what's the breakaway gonna look like. Uh, I'll just go in times two to gain some time. Uh, I'm not gonna put anyone in a breakaway, I think. Uh, Three, four, and three. Yes, I'll have one point. Do I do it with Antoine? Nah, it's not worth it. There's five points to be taken, so definitely not worth it. And uh, we've got our first members of the breakaway. We have Axel Beaumont, we have Elie Jesper, we have Guillaume Martin, uh, Nicolas Eden, Florian Vachon. So Martin, who was the leader of the one people of Gobert, but he had an, uh, like we just fell yesterday. And there's other riders following them, that's going to be the break of the day. We have Georg Gunberger, the uh, Austrian champion from Bora Hansgrohe. You have Marcel Seberg from Lotus Vidal. You have Robert, sorry, Robert Kizolowski uh, from Katusha, who just abandoned of the race in real life uh, in yesterday's stage. Romain Hardy for uh, Fortineo, Julien Simon for Cofis, Michael Gagol for, uh, for Trek Sugafredo, Anthony Turgis for Cofis. Amel Moinard for Sineo, Tsebu Gormai for Trek, and there's way too many people for the peloton to go uh, a breakaway like this. So uh, they're probably going to catch them up. We'll see. Um, Gavaria is still here. So I'm just going to show you what the um, general classification looks like because you couldn't see it at the stage of yesterday. So you've got Katkos, Yel Jazzy, then Prum, Thomas, Bernal, uh, Bernal, sorry. Tom Dumoulin being the first non sky rider to be here. And Primo Fruglet is 18th. And the breakaway, wait, the breakaway seems to be uh, seems to be set. There you go, you're gonna have a is it gonna be 13 or 14 mile breakaway? Can Jimmy uh, Anthony Tardis join them? It's gonna be very tough. But we're gonna have at least a 13 man breakaway with these guys and I'll see you uh, Intermediate sprint, I guess, because we don't need the like mountain points anymore. See you there. All right, we've got 21 kilometers left uh, in the stage. Uh, I didn't show you the intermediate sprint because I remembered that I didn't have Dylan anymore, so it was just pointless to see um, who was going to make the sprint. But we've got these riders, 108 riders, in the peloton. The breakaway is still um, leading by like 55 seconds. They're probably going to end up getting the third uh, and final GP, um, mountain sprint of the day before getting caught up by the peloton. It's, uh, it's the quick step team ext going extremely quick um, with Yves Lampard. I don't know why. I have no idea why they're riding that like with such fast pace. It's very weird. Um, and Guillaume Martin will take the points. At the summit of the Meur de Bretagne, so this is what's going to be the like that's going to be the finish of the the actual stage. Gaviria, why you sp why did you sprint? Gaviria Christoph just sprinted. It makes no sense. That nearly dropped uh, Roglic, which is not ideal. Why is Benazzi attacking? It makes no sense. Christoph goes for it. Lampard, Sutherland, Gaviria, why? I'm dropped with, with Roglic at the moment. Uh, just go on the right side. Can you please, like, 
I don't know, take people. Uh, as you can see, Korvac is now 8 minutes 30 behind, um, behind the yellow jersey. So that's the tour uh, and uh, my leader, clear and done with uh, Primoz Roglic. Come on, just get a fucking gap. That's all I'm asking for. I just want a gap so I can come back to the front of the peloton and chill. Thank you. Alright. 7.7 kilometers to go. I have no idea where Kroyvike is. Why are you that low and you're meant to protect Roglic? I don't know. There we go, Kroyvike protecting Primo Roglic now. Five kilometers left. So there's like a small uh, small hill just here. Going to um, manage this one fairly easily. And then in four kilometers, well in three kilometers technically, we're going to reach the bottom of the Mur de Bretagne and uh, it'll be absolute chaos. As you saw uh, just before, I right, Krovac, you're going to use your energy gel. I'm not getting caught up in any kind of like breakaway or some some shit like this. I'm staying with everyone. Martin, Valverde and Bob Jungles trying to attack. Roglic still here. Doing doing some work. Using the energy gel. The win will probably be for uh, Alejandro Valverde. Valverde, yes, gonna win. Dan Martin P3. Uh sorry, P2. And P3 will be for Primoz Roglic. There we go. P4 full sang in Yellow Jersey in Naha Kalkowski finishes in 5th place. Has any rider lost some time for the GC? Nibali in port um, slightly dropped. Uh, Molema was already out of the room. Oh, wait, no. Molema is still here. Yates. Um, Froome. Froome lost some time. Christopher Froome lost some time. And, uh, oh, geez. We've got the group. Like, all my riders here. Um, Robert Rising, Cole Martin, Timo Rosen, uh, just yeah, enjoy the sprint. I don't know, compete with each other. Timo Rosen got luck, so he's the best sprinter out of them. And still manages, manages to edge them out. Great. And in last position will be Raman Sinkeldam. Podium. We've got Alejandro Valverde winning with 15 seconds ahead of uh, Dan Martin and Primo Roglic. Yellow Jersey stays on Michal Kalkowski's shoulders. But I'm still trying to like make my way back into the main uh, the main group. Froome didn't lose time, did he? No, he, I think he did. I think he did lose some time. Uh, Egan Bernal lost some time. He would get 15 seconds, 15 seconds long. Flavenel stays in the park of Jersey. Gavaria stays in green. Bernal stays in white. And the sky stays best team nothing changed all right results time it is and uh as we've said valverde takes the win and uh, we've got a 12-man group finishing in uh dan martin's time 15 seconds uh after valverde and then you have the group with nibbly port i'm gonna guess chris rooms here yeah 32 seconds behind for uh, the group through and has there been anyone withdrawing from the race that hasn't uh, I think if I go overall and... Yeah, there you go. So, retiring yesterday, Luc de Abridge, Dylan Rodewegen, Jérôme Cousin, Julien Lafilippe, Tommy Altus Lacta, Anthony, uh, Anthony Perez, Michael Landa, Marcel Kittel, and Laurent Pichon. So, these guys all retired uh, in yesterday's stage. But that's that's it for the sixth stage of the Tour de France. One by Alejandro Valverde. Will he do it in real life? Maybe. He's able to do it. But it's going to be complicated for him. And uh, tomorrow's stage will be flat between Fougère and Chartres, the longest stage of the Tour de France, 232 kilometers. Very boring uh, from my point of view because I don't have a sprinter anymore. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow for this. And uh, as always, I'm going to try to double upload as much as I can for uh, for this month at least. Um, yeah, as I said, uh, please make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. To comment down below if you want me to do anything else, to improve anything, to subscribe if you want to see more of my content, and of course, something I rarely promote, but to follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram, I'm really active mainly on Twitter. 
and um, yeah, I guess it will just be a win-win for like both the viewers and the content creator, I guess. But it's been a pleasure talking to you today, guys. I've been Blackwall, and goodbye. <laughs>